Yo, what's up guys? Back at Funko Hollywood today with my girlfriend. She finally came back. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go see what's at the table right now. Hopefully we get something cool. And yeah, just Funko Shop. Funko Shop hunting at Funko Hollywood once again. So yeah, let's see what we find here. So the new pops that I see here are the new Princess Disney pops that they have. So they have Aurora, Jasmine, Ariel, and Tiana. The only one I'll be taking today is Ariel for my girlfriend. So yeah, so this is pretty cool. Um, when I went to Hot Topic the other day, the only one I wanted, Ariel, it was sold out. So it's cool that they have it here and I can get it. All right, here I am in the Little Mermaid section. Something I rarely show, so they have Peter Pan up there, more Peter Pan. The area I just showed you guys, another area from like an old line. And then they have this this 10 inch glow in the dark ursula i i lowkey do want this one so maybe i'll get it but i don't know i'm gonna just, i'm gonna like debate on this one but this is pretty cool so here we got some of the new space jam pops we have daffy duck as coach bugs bunny and they do have some pocket pops so they have bugs bunny lebron james and lola bunny so that's pretty cool i hadn't seen the keychains yet those are pretty cool but yeah and then they do have as well the new clifford with emily elizabeth pop just came out maybe like two weeks ago all right, yo, what is going on, everybody? So I'm out of Funko Hollywood now, and I did pick up some stuff. So once I get home, you know, like always, I'll show you guys what I got. And yeah, let's get back home so I can show you guys everything that I got. All right, what's up, guys? So I'm back home now, and before we get started with showing you guys the pops, I want to thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers. I cannot believe how fast we reached that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support. I really, really do appreciate it. And then like I did see in the last video, if you guys watched it, uh, the giveaway for this Funko Pop right here is going to be, this is going to be the last week to enter. All you have to do to enter is like this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and comment down below why you would like to win this Funko Pop. And yeah, this week is going to be the last week and then on Tuesday when I upload, I will be announcing the winner as well as a new giveaway to thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers so yeah thank you guys for all the support i really really do appreciate it and yeah let's get to 500 next and like i've been saying at 500 subscribers i will be doing a full collection video of my entire collection so yeah let's get to 500 subscribers everybody so yeah with all that being said let me show you guys what i got from funko hollywood as well as hot topic because i did go the other day and i want to show you guys what i was able to pick up from there okay so the first two pops we're going to start off with is yzma and gronk from uh, WonderCon 2021 and uh, these were Funko Shop exclusives so I was able to get it at Funko Hollywood but I'm actually not going to keep these pops so I thought it would be something really cool to do a raffle on these pops so on my Instagram at Funko Pop Julian I will be posting a raffle up today and you can enter for eight dollars there will be 10 slots open and yeah for eight dollars you can possibly win these funko pops so yeah um if you're interested in that go on my instagram at funko pop julian uh the raffle will be posted up today and yeah you'll be able to have the chance to win these two pops for only eight dollars so yeah so now let's get into the next pops okay so the next pop i got was ariel from the new disney line that funko just dropped and right here you can see all the different princesses that they dropped so they had aurora jasmine and tiana but i did only get ariel just because that's my girlfriend's like favorite princess so i had to get it and honestly these pops though are super amazing like the detail on these pops are like so great and um like if i like the other princes i would have definitely got them but for me personally i feel like ariel was just the best one so here we have ariel and you can see how like awesome she looks so she does have like a little uh stand which i believe would be like kind of like the sand and then like this would be water and then the cute thing is we have uh sebas we're only missing you know flounder but it makes sense because she's kind of in land so like why would Fla flounder be there but yeah, this is such a cute pop and i'm so glad that my girlfriend likes it so that I was able to pick it up and i definitely even then i still would have picked it up just because like it's such a cute pop and yeah and i did hear rumors that uh funko was gonna make more of these so i'm hoping they make like cinderella uh let's see what other princesses i like uh, i don't know cinderella kind of grew up watching that more than any other princess uh maybe tang rapunzel rapunzel that won't be cool so yeah so here we have ariel from the princess disney funko set that funko just dropped okay so the next pop that i got was miles morales in his purple suit and my girlfriend actually got me this one at funko hollywood i was eyeing it and i was like i don't know if i should get it today but should i just get it and i'm like eh, i don't think so but then she's like i'm gonna just get it for you so she got me this pop so shout out to her um but yeah um i really wanted this one just because uh purple is like my favorite color 
So, like, I had to get this one. And I did mention before that uh, I, there are, like, so many in this line. Plus exclusives and, like, one chase. And I didn't want to get everything just because, like, there was too many of the Miles Morales pups. So, I just kind of, like, picking and choosing, like, some of my favorite ones. So, here we have Miles Morales. And he looks super sick. So, he's, like, purple and green. And, like, he is, like, kind of, like, in a kicking stand. So, that's why he's kind of, like, on this stand. I feel like most of them, like, were jumping or doing some sort of movement. I don't think none of them were, like, actually standing, like, alone like that. So, yeah, this is such a great, great pop. And just because it's purple, I did have to get it just because, you know, purple is my favorite color. So, yeah, this is a super sick pop. Okay, so that's everything from Fogo Hollywood. But, like I did mention, I want to show you guys what I got from Hot Topic the other day. Because I really like these pops. They're some pretty cool pops. So, let me just show you guys. Yes. So, from Hot Topic, I was able to get the new Space Jam Legacy set. So, the first one we got here is LeBron James. Then we have Bugs Bunny. Lola Bunny. And then lastly that I was able to get was Daffy Duck as coach. And these pops are super sick. Like, I'm a huge, like, fan of, like, basketball in general. The Looney Tunes as well. So, like, I definitely had to pick these up. I don't know if I'll be getting the entire set because Taz already, like, sold out. So, hopefully I do find it on Walmart because I do want to get that flock version. Um, they have some other great pops. I might not get all the LeBron James, like, the 10 inches ones. But, like, all the individual characters, like, Sylvester and Tweety, uh, Marvin the Martian. I'll definitely be getting those. Just not, just the only ones I won't be getting is, like, all the LeBrons. So, yeah, I'm so glad that I was able to get all these pops. And in tomorrow's video, I will be doing a closer look at these pops. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm so glad that I was able to get it. And the best part was that I had hot cash. So I probably got these for around uh, $30 for all of them, which is awesome. And then we still have one more pop, guys. And this is probably my favorite one from the entire haul. The last pop that I was able to get from Hot Topic was the Hot Topic exclusive Scarlet Witch over here. And I have a quick story time with this one, okay? So, um, obviously, you know, everybody wants the WandaVision pops, especially the exclusive. So, I didn't, you know, want to go and pay resale for them. So, obviously, you know, I waited till my stores kind of restocked or, like, had, had her in stock. So, originally, I went to Stonewood Center here in Downey, California, and that was a whole, whole mess. They did not have anything organized. Um, when the doors opened, uh, the security came for us. The manager came, like, for the people that were waiting at the door. And, you know, we all, like, lined up. But there were some people on the other side that went sprinting, like, to the door. And they didn't want to go to the back. And they're like, oh, like, we've been here since 7 in the morning, which wasn't true because, like, I was there at 7.30 and none of us saw her. Um, so she kind of ruined it for everybody because then the management came and like security came and they're like, oh, no pops are going to be sold today, which sucked because, you know, I waited from 7.30 all the way to 11 for the store to open just to get no pops from there. So I was like so disappointed, kind of mad just because I was wasting my time because, you know, people decided to like not respect and just not cooperate with like the management and all that so they're like we're not gonna sell anything today which totally sucked it ruined my whole mood but cerritos mall was about 10 minutes away so i called them and i asked them if they still had scarlet witch in stock and they said yes we have a couple you would have to come right now and i'm like, all right on my way so i drove about 10 minutes because it's not that far off and there wasn't no traffic which was great and i was able to get this pop there was only four left in stock and i'm so glad that i was able to pick one up and I believe, like, they did limit per one person, which is amazing, because then scalpers don't get them all, and I had a chance to, you know, pick up the pop. So, yeah, I'm so happy about this, and yeah. So, here we have Scarlet Witch, the Hot Topic exclusive, and I will be taking this one out of the box to give you guys a closer look. Um, I did do a full review on all the WandaVision pops. That's why I want to show you guys this, like, out of box, just because I won't be, you know, doing a review just for this pop. I already did like all the one divisions and all that. Okay, so here we have the Hot Top exclusive one division. I did like the common way better just because like I don't know, I like how like she's just sitting down with her book. But this one's still pretty cool just because it matches um Agatha and Vision, how like they're kind of floating up, so I'll be a great picture to take. But it's just such a great pop, and I'm so glad that I was able to add it to the collection. And now all I'm missing is the Walmart exclusive glow in the dark pop hopefully i do find it in stores if not then i don't know because i can never find anything on walmart but yeah maybe maybe i find it in stores this time okay everybody so that's gonna close out today's video i hope you guys all did enjoy and then don't forget that this will be the last week to answer this 
giveaway so all you have to do to enter is like this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and comment down below why you would like to win this Funko Pop so yeah last week to enter on Tuesday of next week I will be announcing the winner to this giveaway and then as well announcing a new giveaway so thank you guys so much for 300 I mean 400 subscribers like because we, we got it so quick so yeah thank you guys so much for 400 let's get to 500 next and yeah thank you guys so much for all the support i really really do appreciate it and yeah as we close out today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys all next time peace